Hello, my name is Matt Steinberg, part of the Exeter Cloud of Customer Product Management Team. Welcome. During today's session, we'll focus on business transformation with optimal TCO. Specifically, we'll look at many of the challenges businesses face today, digital transformation, growth, analytics, security, and cost efficiency, and how our solutions can help you meet those needs. We'll talk about the CXO challenges or the business challenges that are faced today. We'll talk about Exadata as the platform of choice to deploy your Oracle database workloads, be it on-premises, in a private cloud, or in a public cloud solution. We'll then talk about the use case of purpose-built databases or converged databases and how these fit in terms of optimizing your business. And we'll wrap up with the discussion on data protection for security and privacy. First, those business challenges. Customers are driving for growth through customer acquisition, selling more to existing customers, new market initiatives, and M&A. How are they doing this? They want to do this with analytics and, and artificial intelligence. The goal is to make better decisions faster than the competition. Additionally, line of business owners want access to the data themselves in a discoverable fashion. All, all the while, customers are going through a digital transformation. How do they digitize the enterprise to optimize the business? This is about time to value. This is about bringing in new opportunities. What happens though is integration challenges can often hinder this transformation. If you look at USAA, a North America-based insurance company, they're digitizing their claims process. Their goal is to calculate the cost of the damage without human intervention. This way it drives efficiency and customer satisfaction. Now, now companies have lots of customer data, lots of personally identifiable information. So security and privacy are key as we grow our businesses and as we transform our businesses. All the while, how do we do this cost efficiently? How do we take costs out while driving, while driving growth? So now let's briefly discuss Exadata. Many of you may be familiar with Exadata. We'll review the different deployment options. The Exadata database machine is designed for all Oracle workloads. What does that mean? And it's optimized for all workloads. So the key things here would be, for example, transactional workloads, analytic workloads, be the operational data stores or data warehousing, uh, or database consolidation. How do I run more workloads on the same machine? What we've done is take hardware, configure that hardware specifically for the database, and then optimize the hardware through software to run the database performantly, scalably, uh, available, and optimizing the management. So if you look at the Exadata benefits as I articulated, it's about performance, miles ahead of, of the competition. It's about scalability, scaling from a small number of cores to a large number of cores, a sca scaling the throughput or the IO performance just by adding more storage servers. This is true in all of the deployment models that we'll discuss, on-premises, cloud at customer, or the public cloud highly available architecture. Downtime costs customers money. Downtime also costs customers reputation. Integrated into Exadata, however you choose to deploy it, is Oracle's maximum availability architecture. And finally, because we know exactly how the hardware is configured, we can improve the manageability of the system from database to disk. Now let's look at the deployment models. We have what we'll call the traditional deployment model, which is an Exadata purchase where customers build their own private cloud. As we move from left to right, you'll see a transition from private cloud to a public cloud scenario. Cloud a customer 
brings the exadata in a cloud of customer model, so exadata cloud of customer, into the customer data center. Very often used for workloads that cannot move to the public cloud. For example, financial services, where there is transactional data that needs to stay within the customer data center. Oracle manages the infrastructure, customers manage the databases. For those customers that have very large deployments, I want to take advantage of the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, but in their data center, customers can subscribe to a dedicated region, which has the full IaaS and platform as a service services. And finally, there is the public cloud with the Exadata Cloud Service. Let's take an exa a recent example here of Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply is a large North American realtor, uh, a large North American retail supplier. They are experiencing exponential growth in their online businesses. They were an existing Exadata on-premises customer and they decided to move to Exadata Cloud a customer. Their objectives were to increase performance, and then provide advanced data analytics. Now, what are the benefits that they achieved in the upgrade from an Exadata in the Exadata platform? Faster and better decision-making, improved warehouse management systems where they can cut their data analysis times, an average of 3x performance improvement, and an analytical throughput up to two and a half times. If you look at the quote by uh, Drew Diamond of Tractor Supply, what did he focus on? High performance for mission critical applications where Oracle has the best data base engine. And for him and operations teams alike, he sleeps better at night and his team sleeps better at night with Exadata and Exadata Cloud of Customer. Now, if you look at the applications they run, they run a variety of application databases on Exadata Cloud of Customer. Those are include SAP, Oracle X Center, Oracle X Road, Kronos, and Manhattan. Just the observation that Oracle Cloud is not just for Oracle workloads. In terms of adoption, if we look at the platform, we take the platform we consider Exadata on-premises and we consider Exadata Cloud. The Exadata platform is adopted at 87% of the global Fortune 100. That's the 100 largest global companies. 86% have uh, Exadata, and 44% of those have Exadata Cloud. And that number continues to grow. Now let's talk about purpose-built databases or converged databases. Again, in relation to the challenges businesses face in terms of growth, data transformation, analytics, et cetera. So modern app development uh, has led to a, an alternative application approach. And what's transpired here is creating multiple single purpose, quote, best of breed databases for each type of data and each type of workload. Okay? These purpose-built databases solve a specific problem. However, the focus is not on data as capital. Capital being the cus our customer's most valuable asset. So these have convenient data models. Again, they're purpose-built, they're easy to adopt, and they seem natural. However, you know, this can be quite, uh, uh, quite a mess, if you will. So if you look in the strategy on the left, where you go with you know, a unique or purpose-built database. These are again, solving a specific problem. However, you have to go and move data around. Moving data around can, between these different databases can be expensive. Can be expensive not only at the time of uh, development, can also be expensive through run and maintain. Gardner reports that developers spent upwards of 50% of their time on integration in these environments, 
which means that developers are not, they spend less time innovating. Then again, Gartner reported on the time spent on uh, integration. They did not comment yet on what happens when customers have to run and maintain those multiple databases. Oracle's long strat strategy has been to enable developers to focus on innovation, right? Oracle has a converged database that includes all of these different uh, database types. So Oracle addresses the business needs of our customers. How do we integrate value, right? The issue here is how do you bring your products to market faster for the developers, for the DBAs that have to do the run and maintain, and for your business teams, okay? Oracle is the only company that gives you a choice of consumption models, either an on-premises model or a cloud subscription model. We wanna make decisions better and faster. If you have an operational workload, you wanna be able to analyze the data while it's in that operational data store. With built-in analytics, we allow customers to focus on the business outcomes. Growth, if you're able to deliver faster and better insights, it allows you to respond to changes in the market and develop new programs quickly. Let's not forget about security, okay? We have to protect your company's most vital asset, right? Your data. And as we'll see in the upcoming slides, that security is a foundational element of Oracle database and Oracle cloud. We also need to reduce costs. As we just reported from Gartner, we'll have lower implementation costs because there's fewer touch points and lower total cost of ownership as we'll describe here, because you can manage once, you can patch once. We have customers that tell us that they have to, uh, they have 100 to 150 databases per DBA just for patching and maintenance. This is not sustainable. The other advantage of the Oracle Converged Database, it is available everywhere. Not only is it available everywhere, it is the same database everywhere. You can deploy this on-premises, you can put well, this on commodity hardware. You can deploy this on Exadata engineered system. You can deploy it in the Oracle cloud. You can deploy it in third-party clouds. You can deploy it in our cloud, a customer model. It's the same database. It's the same data store. It's the same set of APIs. So what you do on premises is the same you do in the cloud and vice versa. Not everybody can make that claim with their databases. They very often have different databases for on-premises use and for cloud use. Some customers or some competitors don't offer an on-premises version. You're locked into a cloud solution. Now, these data platforms also need innovation, okay? We want to make updating databases very rapid. So if you, Recall the comment I made that customers often have 100 to 150 DBs per DBA for patching and maintenance. It's an incredible amount of time that is spent on managing and maintain and not on innovation. You wanna to get to market quickly and a delay in the database release can delay the application release, okay? Now, how do you balance that business and operational excellence, okay? So what do we know? We know that manual, provisioning and maintenance increases time to market, right? You have, you can impact business momentum with patching and scaling. How do you secure multiple databases, right? And what happens with this lost revenue luck with lost opportunities? So Oracle's autonomous database is designed and brought to market to address exactly those needs. How do you provision quickly? How do you secure all the databases and all the data? How do you automate management? 
How do you protect the data without downtime? How do you scale to match workloads? And how do you optimize the performance of the database? Oracle Autonomous Database does all of that for you. Oracle Auto Autonomous Database and the Oracle Exadata Database, we have the choice of amount of automation and control that you want to choose. If you use an Exadata on-premises, you have the most flexibility for control and customizability using, an, using Exadata and the Oracle Exadata database. As you move towards a public cloud and autonomous database, Oracle brings more automation to make the steps that you take tried and true, very repeatable, very reliable. So as you go towards an autonomous database, we're gonna bring more automation, more standardization, a better total cost of ownership, again, at the expense of customer control and customizability. So again, it's a choice of automation and deployment model that you can take. So let's briefly wrap up here on the converged database, right? We call it the shortest distance to information. Why? Because all of the information is accessed and stored the same way in the same database, okay? So you use one set of technologies for your modern development methodologies, okay? Because everything is in the same data types and, this, and the data models, they work together seamlessly, right? This gives you data synergy. And lastly here, we greatly simplify development and operations, which is the long-term ongoing uh, expenses that a customer has. We manage many databases as one database. We manage many styles of databases uh, as one database. And in the Oracle database, you can secure all of your data once, right? Using the same, uh, uh, same technologies and methodologies across all of the data, different data types. So now let's talk about data protection. So Oracle is gonna help manage and protect your customer data. Your, not only your data, but your customer's data. So the key things here are preventing access to data, preventing the loss of data, and preventing somebody from stealing the data. Okay. The root cause of the vulnerabilities are many, whether it's operational errors, malfunction of system components, config changes, catastrophic events, and crime, which we see more and more about in the news. So if you look at the IT layers that are most vulnerable to attack, it's the database layer. Why? Well, that's where the data is. Um, or they say that's where the money is, if you will. Next is the network, the application, and the middleware. Now, let's think of the network as the highway or the roadways and the database as your house. Where most of the money is spent is protecting the roadways. What you see in this data is that the database is ranks third in the amount of money spent or amount of resources spent to secure the database. What we'll show here is that we, Oracle, can increase your investment in protecting the database layer at no additional cost in the Oracle Cloud. Why? Because database protection is the number one priority for Oracle and it's built in in the Oracle Cloud. So if we divide the vulnerabilities into three categories, First is abuse or misuse of credentials. So does Matt have a credential? What is that credential used for? And is Matt abusing or misusing his credentials? Unpatched or poorly configured systems. So is there a security vulnerability that hasn't been, you know, that's where the patch is available, patch is available, but it hasn't been yet applied? And Data that is sitting in the database in the clear yet unprotected. So let's start with abuse or misuse of credentials, okay? Oracle provides 
a series of capabilities to identify, govern, and simplify the access to data. Let's talk about data safe, right? This is in the security intelligence category. So data safe provides the ability to assess your users and your data and your database configurations. It actively audits the user activity and changes in the database, and you can be alerted of any unusual database activities. Operator access control, currently only available under, on Exadata Cloud at customer. This is privileged access management. What we heard from our customers is that our customers want to prevent, detect, and respond to Oracle Cloud Operator access to the Oracle Cloud infrastructure that's in, administered by Oracle. So when or the, while the patching and automation is done by cloud tooling, every so often an Oracle Cloud Operator will need to gain access to a customer system. Customers want that on a privileged access. They want to know the time and what somebody's doing. They want to be able to audit what somebody's doing. And then if they don't like what they say, they want to be able to respond. Uh, to, they want to be able to respond to that. The converged database projects as much data at once consistently. Okay? We manage any type of data. The security policies are the same or can be set the same, but they apply to all data. In a recent early earnings call, Larry Ellison was quoted as, for, multi, for multiple purpose-built database, he was quoted as saying, we think it's a very risky security architecture. Now let's talk about unpatched or con poorly configured systems. First, let's look at Exited Cloud when it comes to configuring the system. The Exited Cloud is hardened from day one, okay? We do that through the system engineers, just through the configurations, uh, through how we access the machines, and by including audit and auditing and logging services. Because we use automated patching, we can keep patches uh, and updates up to date. In, so this is the only way to really ensure that those patches are applied in a timely manner. We do this in a non-disruptive process that, uh, that minimizes any effect on your applications and your business. Okay. With security patches, we apply those as medi immediately as they become available. Other patches are done on a scheduled basis. Why is this important? This is important because now you can rely on your infrastructure being highly secure. Database patches are automated and you are notified when database updates are available. Additionally, Exadata the Cloud is highly available. Why is this important? This is important to avoid disruption to your business. We use automated data replication to mitigate the impact of outages and also configuration errors. Additionally, data corruption is automatically repaired. Now let's look at unprotected, late, unprotected data. First of all is encryption. So when you go to the Oracle Cloud, your data is encrypted at rest and in transit. Data access then is governed by users, roles, privileges, and privileges to execute code. You control this. Automation and segregation of duty again lead to higher protection against human error and criminal action. Data and user audibility. Now we introduced data safe a little earlier, data safe comes into play here because um, it, it provides you the ability to discover what sensitive data you have and then it gives you the ability to mask that data in this case. Backup and recovery is also essential to your, uh, to your system policies. It protects against data loss. Right? The recovery infrastructure can also be designed to prevent the surface of attack 
effectively to, to prevent crime to the, uh, to the impact of business. So to summarize, from a data pr protection perspective, we offer tools and capabilities for the abuse or misuse of credentials, unpatched or, or poorly configured systems, and unprotected data. To wrap up here, the Oracle offers the best database cloud for the best database. We offer this through platform automation, security, and delivering the lowest total cost of ownership. We have the best automation, the easiest to integrate into your applications, and the best security to protect your most crucial asset. Thanks very much. I'd also like to suggest that you, uh, uh, a presentation from a couple of my colleagues. The presentation is Database Cloud Modernization, TCO Performance Optimize. This is delivered by my colleagues, Michael McClure and Michael Mersch. Thanks very much. Have a great day.